I think the scholarship has helped a long way because um, probably I wouldn't have been able to do this course had it not been for the opportunity given to me through the scholarship. And uh, this has enabled me to actually um, gain skills in various things that, uh, uh, that are quite applicable in my day-to-day -day work, yes. These courses are excellent and if you have the financial support then you can think to go further and it also encouraged the people uh, to involve more and more uh, people around because everyone has different vision so all can come up together at a one platform. The Commonwealth Scholarship has been helpful in helping me to pay for the tuition and even now I'm currently in a great wonderful summer school where I'm learning more th wider things about One Health, Global Health, not just my area of interest in pediatric and emergency medicine, um, sharing ideas with people from all over the globe, and then it's really been awesome, and I'm grateful to the Commonwealth. <laughs> it's incredible what the Global Health Academy is doing, what the University of Edinburgh is doing with online courses, because so many people want to study, but sometimes because of your job, because of your family, you may not live where you are, but yet you want to get gain that knowledge. So the online um, masters and the online studies at the University of Edinburgh has helped many scholars to actually achieve their dreams of getting a degree without leaving their home countries. And I think that that is incredible and um, commendable. Working in India, especially in a sector like wildlife, it definitely holds you financially back. It's not so rewarding. I'm thankful to Commonwealth. Uh, because of Commonwealth, it has empowered me to do the studies. And I mean, I wouldn't have thought other ways to even get enrolled to Edinburgh and doing my studies there. And I hope this opens much broader perspective for my future studies as well. The other thing is collaboration. So I have come into touch with so many people having similar issues, working on the similar areas. It has definitely opened up a lot of avenues. For India as such, we have a lot of things to learn from participants from other countries, from other countries as such. And also uh, UK, especially having a lot of uh, infrastructure to do these studies, I think we can collaborate and get to do a lot of things which are actually needed in India and not happening in India as of now. So that's one of the things I'd like to thank Commonwealth for, really. Yeah. Having been awarded the Commonwealth um, Distance Learning Scholarship, it was very motivating for me and also because scholarships are very competitive. When you think about the volume of um, applicants that they have to go through, how many people are wanting and needing a scholarship, it was very motivating to have received one. And I think for me, the biggest um, influencing factor or the biggest push that I've seen with the scholarship is it has also helped people around me to continue to apply for scholarships. I think the most memorable um, individual I recall that learned I was on a scholarship was a teen. She was an adolescent. She had come in for um, an Implanon family planning device. And she said, oh, I want an Implanon. I was like, that's good, because then you can get to finish school and then you do your master's. And she says, I don't have the money for all that. I just want to do my first degree and then sit down. I said, no, but there's something called a scholarship. And we had a whole discussion on that. And she said, thank you very much, because you have really motivated me. And I said, yes, and don't stop. You keep going. If you don't get it the first time, you apply again and again and again. So I think it's very motivating. It doesn't just help the person that receives it, but it also helps the people around to be able to see what is actually possible um, with help from other sponsoring organizations.